all together. Last time, we had been desperately trying to leave Can doing a tango with the wind and the rain. After leaving Saint Tropez in the afternoon, we were finally making some headway back to Le Grand Mat for our nuvage. You get up with the sunrise, put the A2 for main, gliding at almost eight knots. Since we got a late start, we stopped for the night at a stunning anchorage just south of Marseille called Cape Croisset. With towering cliffs, there are tons of caves to explore, but you can't anchor close to them because it's a protected area. We found a cozy little spot to tuck into for the night. Is it beautiful here? It's beautiful. Is it beautiful? For sure. Are you able to enjoy it? I am, but there's only one reason. What's the reason? Because Please? this is the best product to have on a boat because I have distance dysmorphia and everything looks super close to me. So like that looks like if we turn on the anchor, we're going to hit it. So this little thing, how much did we get this for? I forget. It's 110 meters from that rock. But to me, in my eyes, it looks like 30 meters. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this, so this helps me this sleep worth? at night. How much, did, how much was this? Like 100. 100 euros? This is like the best purchase ever. Yeah. And like over here, there's a, there's a boat. To me, I feel like we're gonna hit it. But really, it's 80 meters away. 80 meters. How much chain do we have? Uh, 40 ish. And less, yeah, 35, Maybe 37. Maybe 40, 40, something like that. So, so there is no way we're going no to way, touch but anything. Otherwise, I would be up all night, like watching the cliffs and listening Good. to the. So it's worth so. more than $100. It's definitely worth it. Buy what? Um, should I say what it is? Uh, it's like a... It's a sport. Yeah. I think they use they're, it for hunting or something. They're, they're like hundreds of brands. Yeah. They all do the same thing. It's amazing. Yeah. And look. And the moon. Super. Gorgeous morning. Surrounded by cliffs. Listening to the birds. Fishermen are going to work. Very, very peaceful. Fatal cruiser here. And a little village. Probably a little fisherman village, I guess. It's beautiful. So peaceful. So beautiful. Taking you on a little tour of our excursion of the day. We left Marseille early this morning. There was no wind. Uh, we uh, motored towards the wind. Uh, so we motored west. And then um, we're trying to make our way uh, closer and closer to La Grande Motte for a navage. Uh, we knew the wind will come around uh, one o'clock and we'll shift uh, to westerly wind. So we took advantage of this uh, shift and now we're making a nice course and I think the wind's going to continue to shift uh, further west. That means uh, we're being lifted. 
beautiful cells a little flags we're still missing our American flag that is on the boat somewhere but we are not sure where and for people who don't know the bottom flag is a flag from Brittany it's been about uh, eight to ten knots of wind being sending up wind which is very very comfortable in this boat uh, we have the full dagger board down on the leeward side right now the wind is a little lighter about eight knots maybe seven we finally arrived in La Grand Mott just in time for a late afternoon kiteboarding and a start to the weekend Madame, you look, <laughs> you, you, you look so French. You're Frencher. You got your card, just like the... Like a granny. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to the market. Oh man, you're going to the market with your cart? Mm -hmm. And my hat. What you gonna buy? We're gonna buy baguettes, of course. And cheese? Uh-huh. <laughs> right here. How are you feeling right now? A little overwhelmed. <laughs> Where do you start? Uh, I guess. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's find let's it. Go. What did you get? Uh, juju. Juju? It's a fruit, apparently. It looks like tomatoes, but it tastes a bit like pear and apple. Mm. The good thing they're big, but they're still tasteful. The fruits and veggies in France, for whatever reason, just taste better. Everything's so delicious, including the pastries. What are you eating? Chasson pom. Chasson is shoe. It's slipper. Slipper of apple. Apple slipper. <laughs> what is it? What's Wabinod? Um, okay. um, can you tell me what this is? Oh, yes. No. What is this? Spice. Rust. Spice. It must be a mix of red. And what else do you get? Um, what is this? No? Which ones are you going to get? Merti. Cassis crepes. No, no, so. We returned with a full cart of food for the week and the beginning of a good spice collection for our long passage coming up. It was time to get ready to meet some friends for dinner and enjoy more fireworks. Have I mentioned that the French love their fireworks? This weekend marked the end of the summer in La Grand Motte and the pontoon was buzzing with everyone getting ready for the Atlantic crossing. It was time for us to get busy with all the work Hello. left on our boat and all of our own preparations for the passage. Um, lots of activity from uh, different, uh, uh, some electronics, some carpenters, some plumbing, uh, probably some other um, workers. And basically it's like uh, boat projects improvements, uh, fixing uh, things that we've identified. Um, yeah, that's kind of uh, what's happening. It's buzzing. How's the mess? Mess so far is good, but it's good we're out of the boat. Yeah. 
so this way they can work and we don't have to see and hear everything that's happening yeah. which is a good thing for it, both sides it is it's good for mental health yeah the after sales service team was all over it they have a ticketing system and we had been logging all of the issues we discovered so that morning they showed up with a team of people and a work plan this is the second new boat build we've done and every new boat needs tweaks and fixes we continue to be surprised and delighted by the dedication and diligence of the Utremir team. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and a hundred times thank you. Here's the situation. I got these, it's called the bear, whatever that is in English. I need to get a dinghy that is over there trying to somehow load it onto this without getting wet. And then I have to pull it uphill to bring it to the shop to get the outboard serviced. Let's see how that works. Sink the bear. Not too much. <laughs> I don't think I, it's far enough, but it stopped. So far I'm trying to keep my feet dry, but we'll see. Now, I'm going to get on the dinghy and see how far I can load it onto the bear. Step two, land the dinghy on that little platform and secure the dinghy. The little platform that I sunk, hopefully deep enough. Let's see if I can do this by myself. Okay. So, now I'm waiting for Holly. <laughs> if she could pull me, I could stay dry, but I guess I'll uh, just get in the water and try to pull both the dinghy and the bear together and then um, see if I can bring it all the way to the shop. What are we doing? I think you're arriving just in time. What is the... I need a little muscle here. What is the idea? Yeah, to, uh, I don't know why it's so complicated because in the past they take the outboard and then take it. Now we have to bring the whole tender. You have to pull it on that thing? Yeah. You have some things in the way though. Yeah, and the holes and stuff. So why didn't you move it over here more? My turn to have fun. Are you going to push? Come on, push! <laughs> okay, one, two, three. There you go. Success. Good job, buddy. You arrived just in time. What is happening here? I'm walking my dinghy. When people like sign up to buy a boat. The picture like being anchored by a beach and having drinks. But this is what you do. You put your feet in dirty water in the marina. Okay, push. And then you quit talking and start pushing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have a situation. Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> and a couple days later, the dinghy was serviced and ready to go. Here is a nice feature. Here we go. Perfect. See the clearance for the engine? Yeah, maybe 25, 30 centimeters. He's right. When you think about getting a boat and sailing away, you aren't thinking about repair work or hauling groceries across town. But when you make time for new things in life, silly tasks that were once monotonous transform to be the spice and zing that make your story rich and flavorful.